Welcome back, Endfarm. So today we're going to cover up uh, how to import some uh, CGML in XYZ data. To import the XYZ, I wrote a little component. Uh, Rhino does that natively, but you have to import file by file. So um, I just wrote here a component that reads the XYZ data, just specify the eight uh, files that we have here with a path control or path component, put it into the XYZ component and it even creates a mesh so it's not just the points it creates a nice quad mesh you see eight eight files you get eight patches um, they're not uh, not welded or stuck together and there's a component uh, you have a little toggle at the bottom where you can say just combine them all and um, this is optional so when you put true in you're going to get a combined mesh has to run through the files again and uh, recreates the mesh and there you go that one terrain at the end so one big mesh In this case we have eight million points and uh, the associated quads so faces and we're going to use that as a background terrain for the city gml data that we're going to import on the other side on the rhino side just put some more contrast here so we make it a little darker like a dark map put some transparency in there just native right uh, grasshopper components turn off the preview of the original one and there you go see nice contrast you see all all the profile of the map so now on the rhino side we go up there we just use the rhino import and we specify one file we want to import which is the gml data they're sitting on the same grid eight files as well so same same size and um, just import them all and uh, that's going to take a minute here because um, the files have quite a lot of data not just data geometry as well so in the background once you import them you're already pre pre um, yeah loading the uh, rhino geometry which in this case is going to be meshes and these meshes uh, will be getting imported at the end so eight files it's about 15,000 buildings that we import here it's the city of hagen it's a little town in the south of uh, well, in the middle of germany and on the right side you see you get eight tab controls for each of the files where you can scroll through the data you can see how many records you have and so on and uh, you can see the columns that come in so what type of data and so on but we don't want to import eight files we actually want to import one um, data set so we use the global settings up there just click global settings then you can merge the data into one data set we want to call that data set hagen you could override the color here we don't do that you have two type of parser we'd use the endpoint parser we wouldn't uh, 3d data so gdal just only does 2d data once you hit import, it's uh, getting the, the data into the viewport and of course into the data grid. See the geometry is already in. There's the data. And uh, yeah, so you can scroll around, look into the map that you just created. I didn't cut the video, so it's all real time here. So there's no delay or something. It's just, uh, that's how long it takes to import the data see there's the file matches pretty good right the xml the xyz and the city gml so the the last thing we're going to do on that map is um, we're going to look for one column which is called building function so just scroll in there up there there's one column it's called building function and we will use that uh, column to categorize the data so what we do is attribute categorize and it uses that column and creates a uh, unique key of each of the string values that we have in here right now and puts a second column next to it so same data but it's not just string it's actually uh, elements inside the category and uh, unique elements of course so now you can uh, color the map by these elements so the elements have a color attribute they got um, created in the back generated you can change them of course now and you see, you can read the building function of each of the buildings. 
and uh, have a pretty nice map in about five minutes, I would say. The hard part is to get the data. So in the second example, we're going to go for a pure city GML import. Um, this is the city of uh, New York. We're going to import the Manhattan Island. So same thing, import. We're going to browse on the drive to the data. This data is publicly available. You can download. And uh, we're going to import one of the files here. So they're a little bigger. So it takes some seconds, so this time I, I cut the, the parts. So you're not going to look here for two minutes and nothing is going to happen. We import the second one, so we need two files in this case. And uh, this one as well is about 600 megabyte big, so it's way more data than the city of Hagen. We merge the data into one data set, we call that New York, and hit import. The data itself comes in pretty quickly, but what does take a moment is to render, or let's say to draw all the meshes inside the viewport. We're talking about uh, 48,000 buildings here that came in. So records that we have on each for the, each of the records has a mesh uh, yeah, included. So the building gets displayed as a mesh and this uh, showing the meshes in the viewport that takes the longest you have that there it is you already see it uh, you just find a new or good view hit render there it is city of new york inside rhino with the associated data that's it for today see you next time and uh, enjoy <laughs>